they'll do well because the fans, well, you can't say anything about the fans. They're fantastic. And that was against Blackburn. Here's Ray Evans now, hoping that they can repair the damage. Bill Walker. Not wide again there. Barry Kitchener right in there. He scored! Well, I blow. That's two goals in the back of the minute with only three and a half minutes gone. Barry, here we are, 83 years at the den. It must be hard to believe that this is the final day. Yeah, it's hard to believe at the moment uh, what the atmosphere and the crowd here, it just doesn't seem possible, but uh, it's everything, every good thing has to come to an end, I suppose, and uh, hopefully it'll be just as good at the new ground than it has been here. Yeah. You never forget a hero here at the Den, and you got a great reception today. Yeah, marvellous. You know, always uh, a bit of a tearjerker, really. It's very emotional when you come down back to the Den, because it's a lovely, homely club, and I enjoyed every minute when I was down here, you know, so it's very emotional when I come back. A perfect centre gives Mangrove the opportunity to head his second goal and the Giant Killers pass into the semi-finals, the first third division team ever to do so. And they think it's all over. And indeed, it is all over. And the crowd are absolutely flooding the down at Millwall. You missed out on, on the playoffs, but people have come here for a, for a celebration. Yeah, it's nice to see. I'm delighted that the fans have turned out such great numbers. I mean, I think there'll be one or two people here just coming to be here at the last day at the Den. So it's great. Makes for a great atmosphere. I just hope it's a good result for us. There will be a, a touch of emotion at quarter to five then for you? Yeah, there will be. I'm sure there is. Well, the emotion gets to everybody, doesn't it? I just don't, as I keep saying, I don't want it to get to the players. There's a game going on here today, and we want to win. All right, it's not going to affect our position too much. There's a bit of pride. Now, I don't want to leave here on a defeat. You come close this season, but next year with the new stadium and the experience you've gained, can you, can you win promotion? Well, the new stadium, I don't know how that's going to help or hinder us, but if we can keep this team together, yes, we'll do all right. Can you keep it together? I don't see why not. I'm not under any pressure to sell. Nobody's told me otherwise. The only, pr the only problem is, as we all know, players are ambitious. And if a big club comes in for somebody, then they get unsettled. And that's the problem. It's not keeping them here with... Uh, pressure from the chairman or the directors, it's keeping them here from, I think, pressure from ambitious players as much as anything, and we have got good and ambitious players. You must be proud of what you've achieved so far, no, you haven't won promotion, but you've got a, a good team spirit here. Yeah, we have got a great team spirit. I'm, I'm delighted with what we've done, tinged with a little bit of sadness and disappointment at missing out on the playoffs. Mick McCarthy urged his players to sign off with a performance to be proud of, but Rock Bottom Rovers were hell-bent on spoiling the party.
By the time the 90 minutes were up, Millwall's emotional fans had long lost interest in the outcome of a game their side was always destined to lose. It was time now for the souvenir hunters to move in and claim their last memories of Coldblow Lane. people will still look back they'll still look back at the den with, with fond memories oh I think so people have been here from you know from kids uh, I spoke to a man who's been here for 50 years um, and uh, most of them have been here for a long long time and their parents before them and their children after them and um, it's a big wrench and you have to I understand it it's um uh, it is a big wrench to leave here um, but it's inevitable if we didn't leave here, we'd end up in the, in the Vauxhall Conference. End of the day, you're, you're the man who's probably taking the brunt of it. How, how do you feel about the personal insult, insults that have, have flown about? I think that if, if you have any position in football, if you can't take what's dished out to you, you shouldn't be in the game. None of it makes it pleasant, because it doesn't. And it makes you angry and, and, and it makes you wonder whether it's all worthwhile, but, but it is for the last bulk of decent people. That's, that's probably the point, really. For a lot of people, they still came here today, and they'll still be happy that they were here at the final, the final day at the Den. I think they'll be happy that we're here at the final day at the Den, and I think the bulk of them are overwhelmingly happy that they're moving to a new ground and into a new era. So really, you've got to look forward on a positive note? Yeah, I have to look forward in life, in all sorts of... Every, every walk of life, there's no point in living in the past, you have to live in the, in the present and in the future. The souvenir hunters had stripped the den bare, leaving the condemned stadium looking a sorry sight. All that remained now were the memories of years gone by, of past glories and heroes who played in front of passionate crowds. It would never be the same again. The bulldozers were next on stage at the den, and soon the crumbling stadium would be gone forever. It was the end of an era. Time to move forward with progress to a new stadium equipped for the 21st century. At Senegal Fields, the new den was finally ready. A magnificent stage for the club's new dreams. Fifteen million pounds have been spent on giving the Lions a modern den to be proud of. The moving in ceremony was carried out before the opening game against Bobby Robson Sporting Lisbon. Thank you. 